Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a game between Henry Grob and Paul Keres. This very beautiful chess game was played in Dresden, Germany, in 1936. Henry Grob had white pieces, and he started with e4. Paul Keres played e5. Knight to f3. Knight to c6. Bishop to c4. Italian game. Knight to f6. Two knights defense. Knight to g5. Going for fried liver attack. Maybe a lowly attack. Or maybe some lamb chops attack. There is no lamb chops attack. The threat is bishop or knight takes on f7. How would you defend? Paul Keres played d5. E takes on d5. Knight to a5. Of course, knight takes on d5 is not recommended. White has a choice. Knight takes on f7 or d4. Both very good moves. So we have a knight to a5 attacking the bishop. d3. Bishop to b5 is the most played move nowadays. d3. h6 attacking the knight. Knight to f3. e4 attacking the knight again. Queen to e2. If d takes on e4, knight takes bishop on c4. So we have a queen to e2 pinning the pawn. Knight takes bishop. Pawn takes knight. Bishop to c5. Excellent defending by Keres. c3. b5. b4. If c takes on b5, queen takes on d5. b4 attacking the bishop. What is the best square for the bishop? Bishop to e7 was played. If bishop to b6, c5, trapping the bishop. Bishop to e7. The knight is under attack, so knight from f to d2. But now bishop to g4, attacking the queen. f3. e takes on f3. g takes on f3. Black to move. What would you do? Would you play bishop to h5 or bishop to h3? Keres played bishop to h5. Well, bishop to h3 was also possible. This is preventing castling. However, Keres played bishop to h5. He was nice, wasn't he? He let white king castle. Only to kill him a few moves later. The game continued. Pawn takes pawn on b5, and both players castle at king's side. 16 moves have been played. Who is better? White or black? White is better. Materially. How about the king's safety? Which king is safer? Black king is safer. And black is better developed. Especially after this rook to e8 move, aligning the rook with white queen. Queen to c4. Bishop to d6. Rook is now on the open file. Queen to h4, rook to e2, invasion on the second rank. Rook to f2, queen to e8, knight to e4, cutting the communication between the rook and the queen in some line threatening knight takes on f6, winning the bishop. Rook to e1 check, rook to f1. Rook takes, rook check, k 
King takes rook. Queen takes pawn on b5 check. King to f2. Knight takes on e4. How to recapture with the pawn or with the queen? Grob recaptured with the queen. If pawn takes queen to e2 check and so on. So we have a queen takes on e4. Rook to e8 attacking the queen. And black army is full mobilized. What about white army? White army is sleeping except white queen. She is under a lot of pressure to defend her king. So we have knight to a3 attacking the queen. Queen to d7. Queen to h4 attacking the bishop. Queen to f5 defending the bishop, threatening queen takes on f3 check. f4 rook to e2 check. Did you notice that Keres doesn't let his opponent to breathe? So this is check. King to g1. Black to move. Black play the move. And white resigned. Please pause the video and find the last move that Keres played. What did you find? Keres played Queen to e4. Grob resigned. The threat is Queen to g2 checkmate. If Queen goes to g3 to defend, then Rook to e1 check. And after King to f2, Queen to e2 check. Mate. What a brilliant defense. Or should I say, what a brilliant attack by Paul Keres. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.